Good morning. We are going to talk uh, Tiger Talk about the Brazilian film uh, Saltry uh, by the director Maria, Marina Meliande, and uh, we are very happy to have uh, the main actress of the film, Marina Provenzano. Please welcome, ladies. Uh, congratulations with the film in the Tiger World competition. Um, the film is uh, set uh, uh, in Rio de Janeiro and it's actually a study of uh, the city as well as of the character of Anna. Uh, the city and the, the story is set uh, ahead of Olympic Games and what's the impact of, of the building the, uh, towards the Olympic Games. Uh, it's a very actually um, intriguing subject. Uh, when did you, uh, how did you decide, uh, what, what made you to, to, to take this subject into your film, which is a debut film uh, alone uh, for you? Well, first of all, good morning. Good morning. Thank <laughs> you, Ludmila, for receiving us. It's a great pleasure to be here presenting our film and Tiger competition. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the idea of this film, Sultry, in Portuguese is called Mormaço. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will explain later. Is the it a special yeah, word? Yeah, it's a special word in Portuguese for me. Okay. Because it, and it's very hard to to find a um, precise translation in mm -hmm, English, because mm -hmm. it's a word that means when um, it, it then it's about the weather and when it's uh, when it's very hot. Okay. And, and there's a lot of heat mm -hmm. and also humidity. And usually it's very common during summer in Rio, mm -hmm. and in it's very tropical. Uh, tropical, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, we don't weather. have this. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after Mohmas, we have you usually have a, a huge rain mm -hmm. uh, or something where the, the humidity accumulates. So it's a kind of tension also for us. Uh, yes. Okay. In which period is this? In which it's month? During the summer, but in Rio mm -hmm. we don't have uh, very. Uh, uh, <laughs> the seasons are not that uh, different. As in uh, yeah, it, it can uh, we can have mohmasu even in the autumn, right? And spring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We don't have this very good division of, of the okay. seasons. Mm -hmm. It's mainly warm the whole time. Our mm -hmm. winter is 15 degrees probably. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea of the film of mohmasu it um, it started um, very close to the moment where uh, when the the Olympic Games were announced that it would be in Rio mm -hmm. and immediately the city started to plan uh, what the, the urban changes um, and they are not planning with the population I mean it was a very outdoor um, very um, authoritarian. authoritarian way to mm -hmm. to plan the city and I started to feel very uncomfortable mm -hmm. and um, and started also to feel that a lot of people was going to be obliged to, 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 to change of their homes and the, mm -hmm. the, the areas of the city and the neighborhoods were changing very fast yes. and in a very violent way. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we start, I started also observing a lot of huge enterprises that were coming to Rio to make investments and also making a lot of business with mm -hmm. the, the city hall, with, with the city, with the, yes. the, with the major, and um, planning to be part of this uh, huge business with plan the, that the Olympic uh, Games is also part. For, so, for some uh, parts of people it was a big business, for some a big tragedy. Yeah, exactly. And that's what you wanted to capture. Can you tell us about the neighborhood where it was all happening? Sure. Um, we shot at Vila Autódromo, that's the community that is located in front of Olympic Park. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, the Olympic Park was once an autódromo, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, then they started to make all these um, uh, changings and buildings. And uh, it was a, a, an area that the, the city was interested to, to make it pretty, you know? Mm -hmm. It was a kind of uh, entrance of the Olympic Park. But yes. it wasn't part of the plan of the Olympic Park. Okay. So people could stay there, could stay living there, but mm -hmm. the, 
the city wasn't that comfortable to leave them and uh, they, they would like to it's make a kind nice of makeup, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, makeup uh, strategy to make everything, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, only for the Olympics. So they started to, at the beginning, negotiate with people to, to, to buy their houses because they had the, the, the right and the, the, of this land. Mm -hmm. they, they were owners, they were owners yeah. And they started to to suggest that they weren't owners, that it was illegal, and that it was uh, the, uh, uh, ecological questions, you know, like uh, ecological issues that it, they were polluting the the, the, the lake, besides, mm -hmm. and uh, well, a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. excuses to yes. to try to to expel them, mm -hmm. and it was. Um, I was in contact with them and was very impressed by their resistance because they were very well organized. Oh, yeah. yeah, especially the women. They they had a lot of strength yeah. and they were very brave in this everyday struggle because mm -hmm. it was every day they were they had a lot of uh, problems like they don't have uh, electricity mm -hmm. or I don't know they were destroying everything around them to make very hard to stay mm -hmm. to make they change ideas and they were our great example in Rio oh, of resistance mm -hmm. at the end. And they, they, at the end, they, they, they could stay. Some of these families mm -hmm. could stay there. And we have Sandra, that's the, the actress yes. who plays Domingas mm -hmm. in the film. She is part of this resistance. She's a real... Okay. Um, um, so she's a non-actress that you involved in the yeah, film? Yeah, actually, when I, I was uh, researching yes. there in Vila Autódromo, I was talking, she was someone very uh, central, I mean, in the research because she was very active in this mm -hmm. resistance. And she told me, I was once an actress. I really <laughs> and I was, no, <laughs> you're kidding me. Yes. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> and so I, <laughs> she looks very natural. In the yeah. Film. yeah and, and I was, no, I have to. I, so I want you invite to, to, to yeah. be part of the film, of Fantastic. course, because I, I want them to be part anyway in, in, in the, uh, when we were shooting mm -hmm. and to be part of the to, to of course to of also to be part of the shooting but uh, i couldn't imagine that sandra uh, was once yes, an actress so it was perfect lucky yes, so. yeah it was really really uh, yeah. um, a huge chance indeed the uh, women characters are very strong in your film including the main character of uh, anna that marina is uh, playing um, was it uh, why I was thinking why did you choose uh, that Anna is around 30 and not for an older uh, more established was it uh, your uh, uh, conscious choice <laughs> yes yes it was something we were I, I was was asking me also if is it possible to have someone in her position that it would be young? I mean, mm -hmm. but it's, it is possible. No, it's I, was very, I was very impressed. It's very nice. Uh, yes. And did you work together with uh, Marina on the character? Sure. Can I? Uh, I think Marina should. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe you can uh, <laughs> you, you talk share about with yeah. us. Um, we did uh, work very much together and also because this was also a question that I asked myself um, mm -hmm. is it cr credible that uh, is it believable that uh, I, there is such a young um, public lawyer and in fact in Brazil you have people that at the age of 27 they become judges mm -hmm. because they pass the exam and uh, and then there is this. There was a, a, a very good inspiration, which is uh, a, a public lawyer who is the one that is actually uh, defending the mm -hmm. the, the, um, the villa autodromo, uh, mm -hmm. the people that live there and that were being evicted. And we went and uh, spoke to her, and I also had a chance to see um, how she got involved yeah. a bit. And uh, there was a very big involvement, I think, um, because of the situation of what was happening yes. uh, at the moment. And then when Sandra stepped into the movie, and we were this big group of women at the end. Not yes. the, the the crew mm -hmm. has many women in uh, head of departments, and uh, so I, in some way, there, there was this big um, collective of women together, and 
for me, it, it was very good to get the, the, have the opportunity to be very uh, close to them. And, and then the line between, ah, so now I have to imagine how horrible the situation would be. And we actually saw a horrible moment. Mm -hmm. We were one of the, the main uh, leaderships, uh, Peña. Mm -hmm. We were using her house as a base, and we, and we shot there. Ah, uh, yes, there's a scene that happened in her house. And one day we go to Vila Autodromo to shoot another scene, and then it's the day that they um, put her house down. Mm -hmm. So then the line between f uh, fiction and, and reality, reality, you're it's there. It's and very you already have a relationship, and then mm -hmm. the idea of the horror became a, a of course, from an uh, outsider perspective, mm -hmm. but became very concrete because then it was the, the everyone from the crew trying to help her take her personal objects out of the house and all the violence of the police, of course. Really? We, wow. we, it was we, our second day of shooting. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. So it has even much more emotional, uh, how would I say it? Uh, emotional involvement for you. Yes. It's nice to know about... Uh, it was very yeah, strong. We were, crying. we were crying while shooting because it was very strong moment, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like, and very violent for them. Very so. violent for them. And then we saw, uh, I think, uh, in the perspective of the crew, it also gave us a sense of uh, the importance and the, and the, the violence, and because you, you think about things and you talk about things, mm -hmm. uh, everyone together before and while shooting, but then when you experience the thing a bit, you, mm -hmm. you, you really understand what it is mm -hmm. and also being someone from Rio and um, having a, a, a relationship of the city, like we shoot, we, sh we shot on a waterfall that is very close to my house and so it's, it's this, we were all feeling this uh, this, this pressure, yes, this, yes. we were all in protests. Yes. Um, and I think it's uh, translated very nicely also in the film because the tension is felt from the very beginning and it's raising until the end. And maybe you can tell us something more about your motif um, with the illness of the spots of the <laughs> main character and how it grows together. I'm not going to tell a lot about it because it's, uh, otherwise it will be a, a spoiler. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but I am asking as an artistic decision sure. uh, towards the sure. genre, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> yes. Um, I was. Once I, I started thinking about this, uh, the transformation that the city was passing through, yes. uh, I asked myself also how a, someone or a body could react to this kind of transformation mm -hmm. the, the city uh, leaves. And I was trying, uh, well, I was uh, imagining, I, I, I tried to imagine how a body could. Uh, um, react in a kind of resistance, mm -hmm. but also in a kind of transformation that it would be um, a same movement with the city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at the end, uh, they could be maybe the same body in, yes. a, in, in some way, the and body of this well, character uh, and, done, uh, and, and the space. Yes, with the decay of the city, uh, the decay of the body, but at the at the same time, it doesn't give a lot of uh, hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not a <laughs> not a, a optimistic <laughs> end, <laughs> but uh, it's a kind of. Uh, but uh, in, the, in in a way, it's a kind of how can we think about resistance? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's a kind of resistance, mm -hmm. even if it it seems not to end very well. It's a kind of resistance, and the the importance a, of to, yes. to to react also to these uh, systems, to this statement. process, politi uh, pro yes. political process, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. even if we have to change ourselves in something else, mm -hmm. or um, I don't know, yeah. disappear, or even if we have to mm -hmm. think in a poetic way how mm -hmm. we can change in another thing or. Mm -hmm. And uh, this disease for me, it was a, uh, the way of uh, thinking this body transforming with the city mm -hmm. together. 
even if the character um, doesn't realize that, uh, exactly what is happening with, with mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. with herself, um, the body reacts before she, she can uh, realize yes, or understand yes. this pro how this process uh, attacks, uh, attack her in the same, in, in, uh, mm. somehow. For me as an audience, it meant uh, the strong women that you mentioned in the beginning uh, remain strong until the very end, yeah. including the young girl who is sitting. Uh, yes. So uh, and, and the yeah. young girl is, is Sandra's daughter. Oh, for real, yeah. Very yeah. Nice. She lives in Vilotodromo, also Perla is so her name. So you made the whole family <laughs> happy and famous. And for for <laughs> them, it was also a, a new experience for me. It's I'm I'm very proud of these also this process because Vilotodromo is still there. They mm -hmm. resist, okay. but they are not. They are. Um, well known in Brazil and, mm -hmm. and some places in the world, but uh, making the film it also, it's also a way to make this more. Uh, I don't know. People can yeah, know you, more about yes, this, and this issue bring, and the consequences. Uh, yes, importance, yes, and, and we are still living a, a huge crisis in Rio at yeah. this moment because of the Olympic the, Games. Yes. Also, we have the consequences. Yeah, it's very important that you make such a film, uh, and not a documentary, but a yeah. fiction film. So um, I would like to thank you with this for uh, joining us for Tiger Talk. And of course, first of all, uh, congratulations again thank and you. good luck with the competition. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. I'd like to invite the audience to come and thank see the movie. You. Yes, please. <laughs>